Hello my friends, this is my sweet and savory kitchen. Today, I'm showing you how to make my simple peanut butter oatmeal bars. To get started, I have some crunchy peanut butter. I love those small crunchy bits but you can also use the smooth peanut butter if you want. Then I'll go ahead and add some honey. If the peanut butter is a bit thicker, it's going to be harder to stir. In that case, heat in the microwave for about 30 seconds and keep stirring every 10 seconds until it's smooth. It's nicely incorporated so next I'll add in some salt to balance that sweetness. Check for all the ingredients and measurements for this recipe in the description box below as usual. Next, I have some rolled oats and I'll go ahead and pour the mixture onto it. Raw oats are very nutritious to eat and they aid in weight loss. And this is a simple no-fill healthy bar. So I'm going to mix this until it comes together as a really thick butter and the oats are evenly coated. With this bar, if you also want to add in some dry cranberries, chocolate chips, your favorite nuts or raisins, you can go ahead and add them, but I always like to keep mine very simple. Once it's well mixed together, transfer it into a pan or a container lined with baking paper. Then I'll start pressing it down using my spatula. And if you really want to get to the corners, you can also use your hand and press it down. There is no baking involved, you can go ahead and eat it like this. But for me to be able to cut them, I'll cover it with a baking paper and let it set in the fridge for about 2 hours. This is a perfect and a healthy snack and you can have them at any time of the day. After 2 hours in the fridge and it's nicely chilled and easier to cut them this way. And I'm cutting mine into 12 pieces. You can also go ahead and cut it depending on how big or small you want yours. These are perfect to grab and go, very convenient and can hold you in between meals if you want a snack. It can also be a breakfast on the go if you are in a hurry. This is so easy to make and is very delicious. To store them, you can put it in an airtight container and leave it in the fridge for about 10 days and that's the most I've tried. Thank you so much for staying with me till the end. Please consider subscribing if you haven't done so yet. Like, share and leave a comment for me. Bye!